Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, um, and welcome to another Grand Master um, Empire build. Um, this time I am bringing the um, Grand Master of the Knight's Panther, so you can see him with his resplendent golden armor and um, popsicle lance. He is, and he is leading three Knight's Panther here out on this flank um, against the Warriors of Chaos. So you can see, um, I do have that over there, and again the Grand Master is the Cav Focus Lord, um, and he does have the ability to vastly improve the charge speed um, and other stats of um, cavalry, and actually just map wide, so it's very useful. Um, and I'm bringing the Grey Wizard as well um, to buff hit the speed of my Cav even more to try and get the most out of my charges that I can. Um, you can see here I do have a main line of halberds just to hold, and then some unbreakable units with some hand gunners in the back, some halberdiers protecting them. I do have two Empire Knights out on this flank, again just a cheaper flank to kind of prevent him from just simply moving both of these halberdiers over to my side, um, to my strong side. Um, and so yeah, you can see very basic Empire build. I do have a Hellblaster Polygon just for fun, and to kind of threaten as my cav gets in. So it's sort of incentive for him to charge through um, while my cav come in um, from the flanks just because my artillery will be opening fire and so that is incentive. Um, you can see out here he does have three warhounds spread out into the back um, and then over here a main line of huge main line of chaos warriors. So the Knights Panther are definitely going to work out in this case just because there's a lot of armored infantry and they are anti-armor anti-infantry cavalry. So you can see he's got three Chaos Warriors out here, two on this side, two chosen as a core with Archeon on foot um, in and amongst them. In the back he does have two units of Chaos Warriors with Halberds um, who are going to be trying to stop my five units of Cav. So I'm definitely going to be able to get in there and hopefully avoid these Chaos Warriors um, or isolate them. And in this battle you are going to see me just not even noticing these Chaos Warhounds. I don't know what it is about this map. They start kind of off the mini-map, so I barely even notice them. Um, so you can see here, I'm just going to go straight in for a charge. Um, this is what I'm here to do, my cab. So I'm going to try and fall back along this line as they impact for a cool cinematic shot. So here you can see these cab are going to crash in. Just do a decent amount of damage here to these guys. Um, and then they're going to pull right out just because these halberdiers are coming and I want nothing to do with that. Um, you can see my Hellblaster volley gun is opening fire on these Chosen, trying to do my best to deal with them. And you can see me just fake posturing up on this side with my knights um, to try and um, isolate them. Over here you can see Melkoff's Mystifying Miasma is being dropped. Anything I can do to kind of damage these guys early on. And you can see some Chaos Warhounds coming in, and I still I only notice those once, and I don't notice those again, <laughs> so not the best. Here, I'm going to go in for a cheeky charge on these Chaos Warriors, and then I'm going to bring my um, second unit in on the back. My cav is my anvil and my hammer in this case, and so we're going to see us flatten these guys. And even though we don't have a lot of armor piercing damage on these Empire Knights, they're going to do some good damage there, and hopefully pull out before these Halberdiers can get in there. So you can see there, my Hellblaster probably got taken offline by those Chaos Warhounds. And then he's going to hop in here against my Warriors. And great play with these guys. They're going to come in the back while I'm out here microwing my Cav. So over here, I take one of my Knights Panther and I charge them straight in the back. Over here, I did charge in my Grandmaster um, just to get him to blob up around me. And then I'm going to bring one of my Cav in to um, get that nice rear charge on these guys. And over here, you can see I'm just running away as my... Um, handgunners start opening fire um, and I poorly protect my back line. <laughs> um, so here you can see these guys are going to be coming in over here charging in just doing their best to disrupt. You can see he is going to brace for this charge so nice job there not letting me get into the back lines but it's still going to do a decent amount of damage and you can see here proccing master of battle um, to just kind of speed up my dudes, make sure they don't run away, um, helping these guys move a little bit faster, and then also just proccing for this charge in particular, because I really want to get rid of these halberds, so I want this to be a big all charge here, as I just knock through here and just put a ton of damage down on these guys, um, which is definitely good for me. 
Um, and you can see I am moving my line up to try and engage. And then over here, I did get some nice rear charges, and then he pulls back his Chosen. Um, probably better than getting stabbed in the back by Cav. Um, then you can see me just ping-ponging around over here, running away from these guys. I think I'm going after these Warhounds here. Um, and you can see I'm actually winning this flank. I'm trying really hard to get rid of these guys so I can cycle charge as I want. And you can see my Emperor Knight's taking a ton of damage to those Chosen, and again, Warhounds getting into the back. Super sloppy play here. So these Knights... And then we can watch them as these Empire Knights crash into the back of these Chosen. Um, you can see them already doing a huge number on my um, Halberdiers. So I'm really going to need a lot of these cycle charges if I'm going to be able to take these guys out. You can see they're taking a ton of damage already, but they were the ones I was shooting at with my artillery. Over here you can see my Hellstorm is back up, opening fire at the ones that are, I think, at these, at these um, dudes here. And you can see getting some nice, really just charge damage on there. And you can see um, Chaos Warrior still trying to find, it, trying to k catch and keep my stuff down. Um, you can see here, I think a little bit late, I'm going to be dropping some um, debuffs here. So yeah, Withering, um, just to try and help my Halberdiers do a little bit extra damage. Over here, I really need to be cycle charging. Um, but these Halberdiers get in the back, so definitely not good. I'm going to try and run away through my own lines, but again, that's running through Chosen, so not the best. Over here, you can see I've finally gotten rid of these Halberds. You can see I did cast Enfeebling Foe on them, so they were doing a lot less damage. And then I'm going to be coming in here to get this nice rear charge on this, but you can see my poor Halberdiers are terrified by the Chosen's terror. Um, oh, I guess I'm coming over here on these guys, saving my Sigmar Sons. You can see some of my Knight's Panther in the back. Um, cleaning up some Warhounds, and you can see this side of my battle, supported by those Empire Knights, is crumbling pretty hard. I don't have much left. Um, I'm running in with some Reserve Halberds, and you can see I'm pulling out finally with these Knights to go ping-pong on these guys. And we can watch just in time as I get this nice charge into the back of these Chaos Warriors. Um, with my Knight's Panther, and that's really the only way I'm going to be killing these guys just because the infantry of the chaos is so superior. Um, you can see my knight, my grand master in the back here running to catch up. So over here you can see um, just trying to prevent me myself from losing too much. Pulled some uh, handgunners back. You can see my flagellants of course still over here. Um, some nice shots here from the Hellstorm rocket battery. Um, but really just trying to keep this gray wizard safe. You can see over here, doing a ton of damage, pulling these guys out now that I've de dealt with that. These guys are wavering, so now it's really just um, kind of this core here in the middle. You can see over there, stuck between the Knights Empire Knights and the Knights Panther. is not a place infantry wants to be. So you can see here, running away from Chosen. Um, and I'm going to try and pull my Sigmar Sons in here, pull my Cav around. Um, and hit these guys from the back. You can see these regrouped hand gunners. This is very terrifying for the chaos, just because you can put down a lot of damage with just a few, um, just a few hand gunners left. There you can see proking um, master of battle again, giving that huge acceleration buff. It's going to do a lot more damage because I'm charging here, um, and you can see I'm swoop swooping la la. la bringing <laughs> these knights panther around along with my grand master, and I'm. Um, I should be pulling out of this engagement here with these Chosen pretty soon. Um, but we can watch as, again, just all of these Cav charges slamming these guys straight into the Halberds. Very cool. Um, and then Knight's Panther coming in as well. More on this side. Gonna just flatten some Chaos Warriors. And Halberdiers, it's <laughs> just like... <laughs> They have such high melee defense stats that they kind of do hold out a little while. Um, and so they're perfect for this, especially as cheap as they are in this battle, or in this mod. And over here you can see these Knights Panther coming in the back, doing some nice damage, hitting morale of these Chaos Warriors. You can see now my Grandmaster finally coming in, but he's taking some damage and I don't want him to... Um, the one way I could lose this at this point is if I let my General die. And over here you can see these Knights Panther trying really hard against these Chosen. Coming out again for some more cycle charging.
guys are routing over here. Dropping Melkoth, Mystifying Miasma, just to try and save those guys. And you can see over here, <laughs> my Tattersoul's slowly losing, of course, as they will. Um, but in this mod, they are kind of armor-piercing damage because they have those maces. Nice drop of a spell for there, dealing damage on my Cav. And you can see over here, I'm dropping Withering, which causes these Halberds to route. And then over here, um, you can see my Hellstorm Rocket Battery coming in, helping to switch this in my favor, and my Knight's Panther coming to finish them off. Um, so there you can see, even with Withering, they're still barely ho hanging on, because they do have decently high leadership. Um, but hoping to crack them, and I, more importantly, I did crack the Halberds. Um, you can see just now I'm coming in, swarming Archeon, as he tries to shut down my Hellstorm Rocket Battery. You can see over here, <laughs> they did, it looks like they did, these uh, Chosen did kill my Empire Knights, but I've turned around my handgunners to try and shoot at them. You can see there one of my cannons, oh, my beautiful cannons, did break. And um, I'm swarming Archeon, dropping Enfeebling Foe on him. As this battle kind of comes to the close, the Knight's Panther. Um, luckily there were no... Uh, Oh man, he's gonna drop some devastating fire here. Luckily, there was no knights, um, chaos knights on the field. Um, I'd kind of ex there hadn't been a lot in the previous games I'd played against them, um, Marshall here, so I, I figured I was safe bringing a lot of these knights panther, um, and it ended up being a super cool game, super fun to use the knights panther. I don't really get to use them too often, um, but I've been really enjoying trying to use that battle master. Um, or the Grand Master, um, and you can see here it did definitely pay off with these Knights Panther 135, 128, 124. Um, definitely could have managed my hand gunners better, and my Halberdiers did their job, just held the line, and the Grey Wizard doing a great job of debuffing critical targets, and of course um, Sigmar Suns and Tatter Souls always just there to hold the line, and the Sigmar Suns are actually in this mod like 1200 gold, um, and they're just amazing. They have like 112 armor. They're just armed to the teeth. Um, and you can see my Empire Knights here. One Empire Knight getting like no kills, but the other doing okay. And it's just nice having them on that flank to just kind of throw away and hold down. Um, just because you don't want all your cav on one side. Um, because then you'll they'll just be able to zone you out. So you definitely got to go for that full surround. You can see the Chosen here, even though I was shooting them with hand gunners. And Hellstorm Rocket Battery still racked up a ton of kills. They are terrifying in this mod. Literally, they do have terror. Um, and uh, I actually have a battle coming up here where I bring a elite, elite Chaos Army um, with Arcan and some Chosen in the field. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys, and that's that.